Good afternoon and welcome to the Fulbright Dining Hall, which is one of the three dining halls here on campus. So there's Fulbright, which is going to be for people who live in Futural, Holcomb, Maple, Reed. This is going to be your nearest dining hall. There is the Pomfret Dining Hall, which is obviously co closer for people who live in Pomfret, um, people who live in Buchanan Drove, Clatts and Ripley. Um, and then there's also a Bruff Dining Hall, which is going to be close right next to Founders Hall. Um, that's going to be good for Yoakum, Humphreys, everyone right else. There. So just to give you a brief introduction. So sure. Tell us about you. Yeah. My, yeah. My name is Molly Strickland. I am a student here at the University of Arkansas. I'm currently the intern for housing. And I am studying advertising and public relations. Yeah. So I've got two more years and I trying to get a job soon so yeah it's great <laughs> <laughs> so good things to try to do good uh, things now to did achieve. you eat, have you eaten at all three yeah uh yes so really? okay. i've eaten at pot Frit. i've only eaten there once mm -hmm. or eaten i'm sorry mm -hmm. um i've only eaten there once and it was just for lunch and then rough was my go-to home because i lived in yokum hall so constantly was in rough for every kind of meal my favorite meal there is breakfast without a doubt because they make you omelets and then I would actually, I had a, one class on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. So I had so much time, I would come here and try the stir fry out. Right, which we're which gonna see my that favorite. We'll say that today. Yeah. Um, so we'll just get started Let's head on, on in. tour. Yeah. Exactly, um, so here we are. Coming in, hey, how are y'all doing? Good to meet I'm, you both. Hi, yeah, you too. This are. is Kristen. I'm the marketing manager for Chartwells. And I'm Ashley, I'm the campus dietitian for Chartwell. Yeah, fantastic. Well, thank you. Yeah, no problem. And uh, tell us a little bit about what, uh, obviously you feed people here. That's right. a big part of what you do. Right. Yeah. Um, so yeah. this place houses about 535 people. We serve about 2,500 a day. So that's kind of cool. That's big numbers right Big there. number. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We've got lots of healthy options, sure. um, lots of variety in here, grill, salad bar, wellness zone, mm -hmm. all the good stuff. Fantastic. And, and even in that home style station where you can get mac and cheese. Oh yeah. Mac and cheese. Tip from the, tip from the nice. dietitian. I saw behind us on this board there, it said food, pig, suey. Yeah, What's so that? here's our social media. Uh -huh. um, our biggest one and our strongest one is um, Instagram. So here's just a little peep into our feed. Super nice. trendy, get all the deals, giveaways. Lots of fun stuff. Very cool. Giveaways. You said yeah, giveaways? Yeah, giveaways. So giveaways, you know anything about the giveaways? I, you enter them, so basically you tag your friend in the giveaway. And they enter. They gave away a Yeti cooler, um, Apple Watch. Apple Watch. I'm still mad I didn't get them, but oh, my friends man. did. You tried. You tried. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So a lot going on with social media when it comes to uh, yeah. Social media is huge for us. Yeah, it's the best way to communicate with y'all. So. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, good. Well, let's go ahead and I guess and take a look at some of the uh, let's do it. some of the actual food and things like that. All yeah. Right. We'll head this way. Okay. Nice. Some big salad bar too. So this is our salad bar station. Hey, how are you? So they have uh -huh. lots of great choices. So little little limited pickings right now because we just tore down from sure. a big lunch meal that we what just What would be served. your normal hours? Just just day to day, generally. Normal hours, seven yeah. seven a.m. to about eight p.m. Okay, okay. Yeah. So about this time of the day is usually not I many people walking through because you're not open to the general public right now. Right now, yeah. yeah. Okay. During yeah. yeah during the year we we do have what we call continuous service. So you'd be able to come in and still do a meal swipe. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, not all of the stations would be open, but grill would be open. Um, you would have a salad bar set up as well. Sure. So you don't necessarily, you know, you just have to, you don't have to come in and use a meal swipe for a snack and walk out. So. Gotcha, gotcha. So yeah. definitely a lot of salad, a lot of fruit, other things. But come and come in here and get some oh, yeah. shots Probably of the good food. So we've got a couple of people tuning in right now, and I'll say, hey, let us know where you're from. We're interested to know uh, where you're coming, because you're coming to the University of Arkansas this fall. Lots of salads, lots of greens there, like three different types of greens. That is pretty nice. Great. And you do nutrition here, is that right? Yes, that's right. So, uh, yeah, you'll have to tell us a little bit more, maybe over yeah. the wellness zone about that. Yeah, so this is our wellness zone. Uh -huh. uh, we originally opened these stations up to help us deal with our students who have food allergies. Okay. Because um, a lot of them have, you know, they can't, you know, they can't eat at other stations because mm -hmm. maybe that particular food has been exposed to something that they're allergic to. So we try and eliminate as many allergens as we possibly can with these menus. Okay. So, yeah. Hey, Josh, thanks for tuning in from Dallas. Glad to have that. Um, so uh, what would be some of those 
So if you have an allergy, what would you advise people to do? Just come here and get their food? Or they contact you ahead of time? Yeah, How is that done? Well, anyone can, if you've got an allergy, you can walk into a wellness zone and still get uh, what you need. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if you have further questions, I really would love to hear from you. Okay. So How do we contact you? Email is the best way. Okay. So in that What's your email? It's a m e e k at uark edu. Fantastic! Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. So. Great, great. We want to go ahead and uh, check out some of the other food zones here. Yeah, yeah. Is that okay? I do want to say that our wellness zones are getting a little TLC over the summer. I'm really excited about it. So, new menu items, some cool things like smoothie bowls. We'll celebrate Toast Tuesday, our favorite hashtag around here. Um, Very as nice. well as some other cool stuff going on too. So you'll have that here and then you'll also have it in Brook too. So it'll be called the Green Table. Very cool. Yeah. Josh asked, hey, do y'all have the stuff to make PB and J sandwiches? Of course. Always. Yes. Always. Every Peanut day. butter Every and day. jelly? Yes. Always, yeah. Okay. And bread. And, and bread. I guess and bread. That's kind of part of it too, right? Yeah, Otherwise right. it's on your hands. That's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, great. Well, I can't, can't wait to see what's coming up with the wellness yeah, zone. Yeah, we're excited. Yeah. Always the dessert station. Okay, sure. What do we got here? Try out the brownies. They're the best. Nice. We are keeping them wrapped. Just to keep it, keep them keep it nice and sanitary. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Very cool. No, we make a lot of our desserts in house here. Um, so you walk into this dining hall and you're going to smell cookies or brownies of some sort most of the time. I can attest. You yeah, do that's... smell the cookies. Don't yeah. you agree? It's yeah, we Every smelled time. the cinnamon rolls this morning as they were cooking them on the way to our quads tour. That's exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we'll continue to walk and see uh, this station. Yeah, what's yeah, this other station so this, about? Uh, station is normally like our authentic station. Uh -huh. So we kind of rotated through today. Just for example, was um, chicken curry. Okay. So um, that's kind of a little feel. So it would have been like Indian food this time around? Yep. Mexican, okay. that sort of thing. Nice. It always kind of rotates through. Yeah. Very cool. This here. is my favorite station. The place you mentioned before? This is okay. what I mentioned. This is going to be like your stir fry place. So basically you can choose if you want rice, noodles. You can choose both if you want to. Um, and you choose the sauce that you want to put on top of it. And you can choose any of the topics that you may want. Mm -hmm. I like to get the fried rice with the peas, with the carrots. And then I get the um, orange sauce. The orange sauce. Orange sauce. Also, you can get soy sauce. It's super okay. good. Okay. So, yeah. Check that one out. I walked all the way over here from Yoka, which is pretty far, just for the stir fry. So Specifically it's super for the good. stir fry. Wow. Did you do chicken in there, or what did you do? You know, sometimes. Yeah. Just depending on if I needed my protein. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Sounds good. And then here we are kind of in a, what yeah, kind of area here is this? we normally have pizza. Pizza. Uh, lots of variety. Okay. We, everybody loves the pizza. Homemade um, crust mm -hmm. every day. Oh, so you make the bread here? We do, wow. yes. And then we also have the grill. Mm -hmm. So these are normally like your toppings. Uh, here is normally their flipping burgers. Um, got grilled chicken. And then here is where it normally goes. Uh -huh. um, fries, tater tots, sweet potato fries, all that good stuff. Just That's imagine it all right, right there. there. All right there, yeah, just imagine it. I have had the, the french smell. fries here many times. <laughs> Very yes. good. Yeah, well, yeah. great, great. We've got a little toaster here. here. Uh -huh. Fresh bread. Yeah. We normally, if you like a little waffle stand, yeah, during the year. Right here. So uh -huh. yeah. that's, I do love some waffles. Pop so. it with some peanut butter and strawberries and blueberries. Peanut butter and jelly waffle. Peanut butter and jelly right? waffle. Yeah, there you go. Right. Yes. Yeah. Well, shout out like to you, Josh. Kit, and then if you like a little kit to your uh -huh. meal, we got some hot sauces. Nice, nice. Quite, quite a collection of hot sauces, I would yeah. say. Yeah. Okay. And then this is normally like our home style. So, home style. Yep, home what does style. that mean, home style? Um, just kind of the comfort food. Okay. Um, so like Would mashed potatoes mashed be here? Mashed potatoes, green beans, chicken. Uh, it looked like shrimp gumbo was on the menu today. Okay. So, yeah, just some things from home. Very, very nice. Yeah. All right. So let's head out to the, I guess the seating area, or yeah, what else do we want to see? Yeah. What I really like about this you? place is it's sort of two circles. It's yeah. like one big circle and then a smaller circle, so it's real good flow. Oh yeah, and this is, honestly, this is my favorite. I love all the windows, the mm -hmm. lighting. It's just a very awesome environment. Yeah. Um, got what you got there? Soft serve. Right soft here. serve. 
I've got a soft spot in my heart for the soft spot. Right you can always go and get a bowl and then you can put like the brownies over there that I said were so good. Um, and you can put that in the bowl with the ice cream. Nice. Just don't nice. gain the freshman 15. Try Ooh, not to. Always try to say, yeah, well, we got the hyper, right? <laughs> yeah, we have and the hyper. Places like that located too. in the union and then the actual hyper building. Uh -huh. Plus, we have so many wellness options. Yeah, yeah, so you yeah. don't, it means so you, don't you worry about the freshman You can still have ice right? cream. You mm -hmm. just don't need to have it every day. Exactly. I did not gain the freshman 15, so... You didn't? How'd you I avoid it? I did not. It? I exercised. Okay. I still ate like crap, but I exercised, and that was mainly it. <laughs> it's probably a little easier, though, if you eat uh, food that is um, maybe uh, less caloric. Or what's the, what would you it's advise not, for a freshman yeah. coming in? I think... I think coming into a dining hall that gives you the opportunity to essentially build your plate as big as you want it and then you can go back for seconds, mm -hmm. really pay attention to those portion sizes. So our spoons, they're that size for a reason. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, but yeah, pay attention. That's my biggest piece of advice. Watch it's those portions. portion size. That makes sense. That yeah. makes sense. Okay, well, great. Well, is there anything else we want to see in the hall or? Um, well, right up here around the corner, we've got a substation normally, so okay. fresh loaves of bread every day, yeah. um, lots of options. You can kind of build your own sandwich or order from a specialty menu, so yeah, it's always a busy, always, always a busy, busy station. station. Yes. Everybody loves, sure. everybody loves the deli. You know, maybe we'll take a moment to explain, I guess, dining dollars. That might be something that they're not as familiar with. Yep, so, so we actually just recently changed from flex to dining dollars. Exactly the same thing, so don't let that scare you. Um, and that's kind of retail money. So that's what you can use at Starbucks, Chick-fil-A, True Burger, Rocket Taco, all of those concepts. And then we also have um, meal trades. So during certain points of the day, you can do a meal swipe and go to like Chick-fil-A and get a sandwich, fries, and a drink for the same as a dining hall swipe. So that's kind of a nifty thing to kind of help save those dining dollars a little bit. Because sure. <laughs> the ladies tend to like to spend all their money at Starbucks on those drinks. So. <laughs> that's... And it seems like that... Um... You know, we've got the three uh, dining halls where you can eat. Right. But we have a whole bunch of like retail Oh yeah, we've got places. so many options. And I think that really, the dining dollars and the meal trades kind of diversifies the meal plan so you can really get the variety. And so what a lot of students do is they'll, because a lot of our meal trades are offered at dinner time, mm -hmm. um, they'll eat in the dining hall for lunch and then for dinner they'll do a meal trade. Okay. So. <laughs> what would be some of the hotter concepts that are more recent? Um, so, or ones that are even coming maybe this fall. Yeah, so we have uh, where the wild greens are, um, uh -huh. which Ashley will talk about in a little bit on the way to the freight farm. Oh, um, oh what's the freight farm? <laughs> so we're actually growing lettuce on campus. Really? So exciting, yeah. That is really yeah. cool. Yeah, I actually grow it myself. So. Is that true? Yeah. She's a little farmer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, American yeah. Gothic right there. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> Okay. Um, and then also Rocket Taco is getting some fun new additions. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to be getting like a fish taco and kind of a virgin uh, manganata, which is a very traditional, like authentic uh, frozen drink. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of exciting things coming. True Burger is an awesome concept we established last year. 5% goes back to student scholarships. So True. every couple months, like it kind of rotates through and goes to students on campus. So we've got that giving back piece that we've so that much is love. great. Yeah. You know, if we're going to go check out this farm, let's, let's go ahead and do it. You can tell us more yeah. about these concepts as yeah. we're going. Yeah. That sounds great. Because I, I understand that the farm is not very far away, really. No. Very close to... Just a couple minutes. A couple minutes walk. Yeah. yeah. Take a walk into the heat today. Yes. <laughs> nice and toasty in favor. It is a warm Arkansas day. <laughs> so now, we're walking through the quad. You remember our tour earlier through the yes, quad, Yes, this right? is the quad, mm -hmm. in case y'all don't know. Honestly, if you're going to go anywhere from Meal Tray that they were talking about earlier. Yeah, what are your favorites? Definitely Papa John's. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. I'm such a weakness for pizza. I can't help it. But it's always the shortest line because Chick-fil-A and Slims, those lines can be out the door. So you really got to go right before Meal Trade starts at 6 o'clock there. It's only on weekdays at some places. So did you so, use that for dining dollars or for meal trade? I used or both? it for meal trades where okay. I spent all of my dining dollars at was Einstein's. Einstein's. So there's an Einstein's located um, right beside Willard J. Walker Hall. It's actually mm -hmm. inside of it. There's one inside the engineer building and there's one more that I can't, I don't know. Okay. But, but there's several Einstein's. Several Einstein's. Campus. It's okay. fantastic. I would go in between class because I just get a plain bagel. So I get that every single day, which is horrible. A plain bagel for breakfast. Plain bagel and then I get the smoothies they have there, the pizza bagel. Mm -hmm. I just love pizza. I do. I love the salmon and lox. 
Oh yeah. We, we had that this morning. It was delicious. That is pretty delicious. Definitely well, take advantage of meal trades though. That's something that you can do. It kind of starts the union around 4 o'clock, 4.30. Um, just depends on the certain places. Mm -hmm. And then other places I'll start at like 6 and stuff. There's also something called Brafa Go Go. Uh -huh. So if you're in between classes and you don't have time to go and sit down at the dining hall, you can go to places like that. Um, and basically it's just like a meal swipe and they have sandwiches already made to go. Oh, so so it's, to go and they offer perfect. a meal trade at lunch. Oh, okay. Yes. One of the few places that offers a lunch yes. meal trade. Yes. Yeah, so they offer um, a meal trade at lunch, Cafe Tusk, the Hill Grill, which is right up there. Yeah. Um, and then for breakfast, we offer ABP meal trade, so Aubon Pond, which is located in the Union. Yeah. So it's really Pond. good. Right. The strawberry lemonade is the so best. Good. The best. You will soon <laughs> discover how amazing it is. And you will use meal trade like it is your life. <laughs> Because it's just the equivalent, so it's really just swiping at one place, and it equals being in the dining hall. Right. Correct. It's just yeah. getting it at the right time. Okay. Yeah. Just a just a better value for your meal plan. Yeah. And you guys will be seeing those um, times and schedules and locations coming up, so just be looking for those in our locations. Okay. When, okay. When you get on and do, campus. And do you have a website that people should go to to find out more about Chartwells and campus uh, yes, dining? Yes, we actually do. It's called Dine on Campus, uh -huh. and it's dineoncampus.com. Um, slash like backslash Razorbacks. Razorbacks. Yes. Okay. So dinocampus.com we'll, yes. slash, slash Razorbacks. Razorbacks. Yes. Okay. So we've got all info about Chartwells and then like I, I'll throw in another blurb about Food Pig Suey. We're always posting stuff on there. Um, With the competitions, <laughs> yeah. winning all kinds of stuff. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, I'll be looking out for some back to school giveaways. So okay. that's a little incentive for you guys. Sure. <laughs> I'm going to win it. <laughs> so You're going to win it this year? I'm going to win it this year. It's my time to shine. <laughs> so this is our uh, free yeah. farm. Sure, let me take a look here. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, so this is actually a shipping container that has been converted into a hydroponic farm. Mm -hmm. And we can actually produce about one to two acres of what a traditional farm would produce. Right there in that one area. Right there in that teeny tiny area in a 40 by 40 by 9 foot space. What are you what are you doing with this kind of food? So right now we're actually just growing lettuce. Mm -hmm. And Kristen mentioned where the wild greens are, and that is a new concept that's coming this fall, and you're going to be able to build your own salad there too. So we're really excited about that. Lots is that of part of the a dining? experience or is it a separate it'll uh, be a retail restaurant. location okay. so it's actually going to be in founders right mm -hmm. next to slim chickens and rocket taco very cool so but we're really excited about it um be, what kind of salads would you offer there essentially just you have the option to build whatever you want so we'd have several types of lettuce that you could choose so we're way beyond iceberg oh yeah oh, way yeah. beyond there, iceberg, there, iceberg won't even be there okay so okay. we're talking dark leafy green lettuce mm -hmm. um and then we will have some grains you can top it with you'll have some protein options you can top it with tons of veggies and they tend to be higher in veggies that you just don't see very often mm -hmm. um Lots of great sauces and dressings you can put on, nice. different types of hummus. Like hummus? Okay. Yeah, yeah. my favorite is there. We're going to have a beet hummus. It's super, it's, it's so good. What I, is you guys that? should definitely try it. Okay, so. okay. Is it red like the it's like beets are? It's bright pink. Oh, yes. Like crazy. mustard. Yes. It's literally. <laughs> literally. Yes. Okay. literally yes. So watch out for that bright pink, huh? bright yeah. pink hummus. Yeah. So we're really, we're so excited about it. So. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And it's it's going to be a very picture worthy entree for you to get. So we're okay. actually adding a very cool vinyl graphic that's going to go on the floor. So you can like hold your bowl and get a picture of it. Get and those so Insta photos. Yeah. yeah. Cause everything now is picture worthy. So we're making it for you guys. Nice. Yeah. Good so experience. So yeah, for like sure. Grammable space. For yes. Your grammable food. Very so much so. Yeah. Gram, gram. I get yeah. it now. Okay, so what, we're about to go inside yeah, and take a look at this thing? Yeah, I'll show you guys. Very cool. I'm interested to see. Yeah, I've never been in here. Hopefully the disco lights are on. <laughs> Literally, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. What an interesting space. Yeah, Just so walk on, on in. in. Yeah, okay. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh -oh. So we're growing local and we're growing hydroponic right here on campus. Nice. I'm so amazed right now. Yeah. <laughs> this is so cool. Yeah, so it's 
kind of hard to see, but we actually, our lights are actually LED lights, so they're okay. red and blue, sure. and those are the two wavelengths that plants like to grow. Mm -hmm. uh, let me turn them off, so that way you can see just how green our lettuce is. Yeah. Uh, Josh asks, will there be a meal exchange for, um, for the new salad place? Yes, there okay. will be, during dinner time. Be dinner, out time for it. dinner time. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Come in and get your salad. Okay. Yeah. So let's see what we can see here. Oh yeah. yeah. Very green. Yeah. So right this there. is actually we have a romaine lettuce growing too. Okay. Okay. So and we have we're trying out some arugula and some kale. So you'll be seeing that. So what salads are those? I'm sorry. What greens? So the Rex Butterhead. Mm -hmm. So it's just a really nice hearty Boston bib lettuce, mm -hmm. and then a romaine. Okay. Lettuce as well, so very nice. But yeah, what a cool space! It is. It's so, so cool. It's like, cool too. I'm still in shock. <laughs> it is chilly. We're at 57.7 so like, <laughs> degrees. Yeah. We are not in the summer weather anymore. <laughs> yeah, so that's the cool thing that's about it. Yeah, we can have your degrees outside, and you're growing lettuce in here. Yeah. Fantastic. I, I love all the innovations you guys are doing. It's really cool to be growing food that serves the students on campus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that was a big deal for us. We wanted to, it's really difficult for us to source things locally just because we need a lot of it. Since we serve over 15,000 meals a day, it's hard for local farmers to actually yeah. be able to meet our needs. Sure, so sure. Is there anything else that people need to know when coming on campus um, about dining or options that they can have if they're wanting to seek out help or nutrition and stuff like that? Well, they can always reach out to me. So I will actually do dining hall tours once school gets here, um, if that would be something you guys would be interested in. And just show you around, show you my favorite stations that I like to eat at, and all that good stuff too. So, and I am actually starting my own Instagram account. Tell for, us about it. Yeah, it's called Arky Eats Well. Uh -huh. And um, so it's essentially just going to be healthy options on campus or even off campus too. So we'll connect our blog to all of it. Everybody likes to know what the dietitian eats. Yeah. So you may, you may get some note. You probably will get some food photos. That's a lot of pressure, like isn't that. it? Though everybody's watching what you're eating all yeah. the time. I but mean, you said I'm ice cream every right now. now and then. Like you can do it. <laughs> I, I eat healthy most days. Okay. okay. So. I mean, it was ice cream National Ice Cream Day on Sunday. So oh, we yeah. celebrate. We celebrate those holidays. You <laughs> those holidays are great. Yes. Okay. And then um, I'm always available for meal plan questions, um, internships. We, Chartwells, we do offer internships. We've got, I have four marketing interns. Ashley has a couple wellness interns. Um, and you can contact me at K Jacobel, J A C O B E L, at uark.edu. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, um, I think we're going to sign off unless there's any more Wrap questions for this. Whole group of folks nope. that we've been having. We're just here. so glad that you're about to come on campus in this fall. And you know, there's so many dining options, so you're definitely not going to be starving at any <laughs> point. Um, stay tuned. We have some more videos that are going to be coming up in a few days. Uh, we got how to prep your tech and how to move in. So we're just trying to get you prepared for when you come on campus this fall. So thanks for joining us on our tour. Yeah. Bye. Bye. See you soon.